Hi everyone, Alan from Genesis Motorcycles. Uh, today I'll be trying out a Nightwash 101 cleaning solutions. Um, so what we've got here today is a fast acting cleaner for all motorcycles, mountain bikes and road bikes. As well what we have is the afterwash shine which protects and lubricates the bike after the wash. So I'll run you through how the product works and how it looks before and after. Right, so up first we've got the fax acting cleaner to start off with. Let's just read the directions first. Right, so hose down the bike with some water, spray the bike wash 101, oh, sorry the night wash 101 onto it, leave between one minute and two minute, okay, and then rinse off with a high pressure washer. So I don't exactly have a very strong high pressure washer, but I have some sort of pressure washer which uses a basically a drill battery and suctions water out of a bucket. Uh, I found that very easy to use for where I live because I haven't got access to a um, heavy water wise. So yeah, let's give it a go. Right and so far we've rinsed the bike down with uh, some water as it recommended. So we're just going to spray the night wash 101 onto the bike and give it one to two minutes to settle. Uh, just uh, <clears throat> scrubbing any stubborn areas with uh, a sponge just to remove any excess grime and we'll see how this turns out, shall we? Right then, we'll leave that to one to two minutes. Right, okay. Um, I know it says scrub off more or less the grimy or dirty areas, but I'm that much of a perfectionist. I've done everywhere on the bike. So I think I'll just leave it for a few seconds, hose it down, and then we'll proceed with the next step. As always, we always hurt ourselves when cleaning our bikes, which is perfectly normal. Must admit that first initial wash using the fast acting cleaner, some of the areas, especially around the brake calipers, where you may notice it's sprayed it into, just rinsing it off all the grime and dirt that has just come out of the brake calipers. Absolute perfection everywhere on the bike, including the Olin's rear suspension, which is very difficult to get at with anything a brush, a cloth, or a sponge. I just narrowly basically sprayed that whole area with fast acting clean and now just rinsing just watching all the grime coming down underneath cleaning that titanium exhaust as well from headers to the end can on its own as well i think in the future i'll be taking that carbon fiber plate off the rear can just to get under there where any dirt may be hiding hopefully that fast acting cleaner when they sprayed it down there would have got all that rubbish and dirt out of there all over there that was all so greasy and grimy, look at that. Look at that Olin shock as well. It's gleaming. That titanium as well, once it's all nicely dried up and we've added the next step onto it, that's gonna look beautiful. Right then, moving on to the next step. After wash shine, uh, protects and lubricates. Directions to use is clean your bike with a night wash 101, which we've done. And whilst the bike is still wet, which it is now, spray night shine directly to the bike surface. Leave it to air dry, no need to wipe off with a cloth. The bike shine will disperse the water and leave an even high gloss finish. Just be very careful not to use on any seats, brakes or handlebar grips. So we've just got to be very, very careful when applying this onto the motorcycle. Right then, that's the uh, Nightshine 101 after wash shine uh, just added to the bike. 
So like I said, just be careful you don't spray it on these seats, any brakes or any handlebar grips. So I just sprayed anywhere else around the bike. All the areas where obviously I wasn't allowed to spray, I also use another product to shine areas. So I'll be using those other products, being careful spraying on the cloth and wiping over those areas to shine other areas. I just don't want the bike shining in some areas and not others of course. We want this bike looking good everywhere it goes. So now, the only thing you can do is leave your bike to just air dry. All that to naturally basically uh, dry itself. So yeah, that's it for the Night Wash 101. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that and hopefully it was a bit educational for some of you. And hopefully some of you buy this product and give it a try out. Thank you.